Good morning, it is Friday at 6 a.m. I'm Deirdre Fitzpatrick. And I'm Teo Torres. Let's start with a look at our coronavirus headlines. The Sacramento County has been added to the state's watch list after another spike in cases as well as hospitalizations. With cases doubling in the state of Utah, governor there said he will wait at least two more weeks before loosening any more restrictions. And British health officials warn residents they may shut down again after images of packed beaches and street parties this week showed people are not at all following rules. Let's go to Tony Valliere now. Take a look at the coronavirus numbers in California. Well, we saw a drop in the number of new cases yesterday uh, following or Wednesday rather that's following two days of record highs. So here's a chart uh, looking at the number of new cases each day over the past month. The state reported 5,300 new cases on Wednesday. It's still much higher than the previous two weeks. The state will release the official numbers for yesterday in just a few hours. We do expect to see another high number. According to Johns Hopkins University, California has had nearly 5,200 cases in the past 24 hours. The state has now topped 200,000 cases. Meanwhile, the number of deaths was up 81 since this time yesterday. 5,800 Californians have died because of the virus. While California sets records for daily new cases, the state is also ramping up testing. For the first time, the state topped more than 100,000 in a day on Wednesday. Tao, Deirdre. All right, thank you so much, Tony.